Hello everyone, this is Brian with VS and Tech Networks uh, bringing to you another video tutorial on how to manage your website. In this case, uh, we are bringing a video tutorial to you on how to update and manage your downloadable music website uh, that would also include a, uh, a music player as well as the ability for people to check out, pay via PayPal, and then receive an email with a download link to download their music that they have paid for. First of all, you should have received a username and a password in order to access the admin portal of your website. If you have not received that, please get in contact with us and we will provide that over to you. On the screen, uh, you are seeing us already being logged into a customer's website. And the first thing that we're going to do is create the download. Uh, there is a code or an ID number that we need on the download that's very important for us to put in the player so that the buy button works. So over here you see downloads and I'm going to just go ahead and click on it and on here looks like it logged me off just log back in here and in here there is going to be the listing of the songs. Now right now I just have made one test song which is right here um, this is the actual download so we can click on it if you wanted to edit it and then that will take you into the information that exists for this so you have your title up here so this would be the uh, the item name or maybe the song title in here in this large box you can put any kind of description about the item that you'd like so uh, if you wanted to put uh, song duration uh, you know what kind of genre it is whatnot you can put anything in here scrolling down a little bit we have the price so this is just a standard priced item and again this is just a an example but I put in the amount of twenty dollars scrolling down some more we have a file name and then the URL so the file name should not have any spaces in it no special character so it can be letters it can be numbers and maybe the dash character as noted here so for this uh, this is the file URL. You will hit the upload a file and you can see here on this person's site uh, it shows the media library and uh, so the file that I did was actually a zip file. Uh, in this customer's case they needed the ability to add a PDF file as well as the MP3 in the zip. So uh, we've done that and then you just hit insert into download and then it will automatically fill in the file URL with the downloaded or excuse me the uploaded file that pretty well takes care of the basics of this now if you scroll down a little more there are some extra settings you can click on here to have it set for how many times the file can be downloaded so if you're a concern that somebody might share the download link with somebody uh, you can limit this here so you can just set it so that they could only download it once uh, you could set zero so they can come back at any point and download it again. Um, so that is definitely an option there as well. And then once we're done, we just hit the update button. Okay, again, let's uh, just click on downloads over here. And now that this is done, one thing that's very important to integrate this with the, the player uh, for the music player notice this ID number right there this is specifically what points to the ID of this download and we need to take note of that to put in the link to purchase it from the music player okay so we have the download done that takes care of the download part next is the actual player so down here choose HTML5 player and then click manage songs right away you're greeted with the ability to create a new file or a new song in the player. The mp3 link, the OGG link, those are both required. So if you only have an mp3 version, uh, you might go and uh, check out a search engine and put in mp3 to OGG converter. There's uh, some free ones that will actually convert an mp3 file to an OGG file for you at no cost. So. Um, that will take care of that requirement. Now again, I've already created a uh, item on here as you can see so I'm just gonna hit the update button. I scrolled all the way down to the bottom and all of the downloads or excuse me all of the uh, songs will be down here. So I'm hitting update 
and this automatically shows everything that I've done again so in this box you would hit upload you can hit media library and then the song is under audio right there and then there's two of them so we have to make sure we choose the mp3 which it says there and then I hit insert into post something didn't take there let me try that again so let's click audio and everything looks there I need to do the uh, a uh, file URL. Have to hit the file URL and then insert in the post. There it goes. And then same thing here. OGG link. Hit media library. Do audio. And here's the other one. Now because I've already hit the file URL it appears and then insert in the post again. So if you need to upload the files, very simple. The first thing that happens is you come to this from computer screen. You'll hit the select files button and then you're able to upload the actual music files themselves. Alright, the rating, that is not required, so you do not need to put a rating in there. Song title, the song title is required, so you have to put that in there. The link by text, this is the important part. As noted when we made the download, there was an ID number. And if I scroll all the way to the end, you will see that ID number right there, that 101. So this link should be your website slash checkout a question mark and then e d d underscore action an equal sign and then add underscore to underscore cart the ampersand sign download underscore id equals and then the ID of the actual download that you have done in the download section. Um, so usually when we create the websites we will create an example listing for you that way you can easily copy and paste this link. Again it's important that this ID number at the end correlate to the download that they're paying for. Song price this will display in the music player so you can put the song price in there and finally the cover image. Uh, cover image also is required same thing you hit upload you can either upload a new cover image or if you have one already you can go to media library and I just use this one here again the link URL is already in there if nothing shows up there hit the file URL button and then hit insert in the post duration is not required but the artist is so then you put the artist in there and then once you're done you'll either hit the add new song or the update song because we're updating it we just hit update otherwise the ad would be there. So that's pretty much it. First thing is you want to go into your downloads, create the download. You need to upload the file that they would receive when they pay. Make note of the ID number right there for the purchase. And then you come down to your HTML5 player, hover over it, hit manage songs, and then you can immediately create a new one. And that's pretty well it. If you have any other questions about managing this, definitely don't hesitate to reach out to us here at BS and Tech Networks. Um, definitely appreciate everybody's business with uh, the website design. And uh, this again is Brian with BS and Tech Networks. Thanks for watching.